Hello, this is E3PO from WMClan.net. In this tutorial, you will see how to use Tool Star Star successfully with Open Edge errors. Okay, to get started, I have this little retard map with a sky and an obviously deleted face here, as you can see. Can't be any more obvious than that. If that's a deleted face okay I'm just gonna extract this now to hack test JMS and now what you're gonna want to do is go to WMClan.net as soon as this loads there we go Make sure you register and go to the board index, programs, tutorial, downloads, and click on tool no error project. You will see a download link. Just go ahead and click on that and open it. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is, whoops, that was retarded. Go ahead and go to your Halo Custom Edition root directory and just put all these files in there and yes to all okay now just go ahead and run tool star and the first time you load it it will close and update now hit OK and it will reload it automatically finds your Halo Custom Edition directory so if it's not what you set it to install with and you can click on options and manually set it yourself and now go ahead and just open up normal tool if you want and go ahead and run the structure command Okay, as you can see, there are four open edge errors, and then the failed to build collision geometry and import collision BSP. So, what we're going to want to do now is go into tool, uh, tool star star and type the same command without tool. And just hit run command. Okay, as you can see, it completed successfully at uh, in 6.24 seconds. And now what we want to do is go ahead and... I already put a sky in here, so what we're going to want to do is run light maps. So, uh, light maps. Ah. Uh, Okay, there we go. Just run command. Okay, and then you can see it finished doing light maps in 8.53 seconds. So now what we're going to want to do is just load up, just minimize that and load up Sapien. and then the scenario okay as you can see it worked successfully we have our sky up here and then we have our open edge right there which just renders as sky and you can go in and out of it whatever you want to do And what I'm going to do now is just put a vehicle and a player spawn point in here. So I usually have a bigger resolution. I just changed it for this video. That's why nothing matches up. Okay, just put some of these in here. And then I'll put a vehicle 
one vehicle in. Whoops. And set this for just all these. And I'll set it over there. Maybe I'll put two in just for the heck of it. Okay, now just save it. And go back into Toolstar and type build catch file levels. I think this is it. I think that's how you do it. Okay, and you can see that it successfully compiled it in 2.39 seconds. So I'm just going to flip over to a better recorder and meet you in game. Hello, this is Etripio. I'm in game now and as you can see, the map shows up in the map list and obviously loads in game. Slayer. Uh, this is just the map you saw in Max that I made a minute ago. And the vehicles obviously work. I'm not falling through the wall or falling through a. No, nothing bad is happening. Okay, now, one thing I'd like to note. When you throw a grenade out of this window with the open edge, it uh, keeps going and explodes. But if you throw it through the sky, as you can see, it just disappears. Also, another thing I'd like to show is when you hit it with a bullet, it explodes. But if you hit the sky with a bullet, it just disappears. Uh, this is the end of the video. Hopefully this will change some people's minds to download it. This should only be used for test purposes of the map. It is fine for uh, multiplayer games. I just had a server a minute ago with 16 people playing on it with no lag with a whole bunch of open edges. Uh, nobody got Nobody's games crashed because they didn't walk through any of the open edges. Because most of them were like this being open. This little. Or the corner being open. So they couldn't really walk through it to get an open edge exception. Uh, again, this is E3PO from WMClan.net. Uh, program was modified by me and patched by me and Patrick from vividabstractions.com. See you later.